In a monumental turn of events, Microsoft, the tech behemoth, has struck a momentous agreement with Sony, the renowned gaming titan, ensuring that the wildly popular Call of Duty video game series will continue its thrilling saga on the coveted PlayStation console. This groundbreaking announcement, shared on Sunday via a tweet from Phil Spencer, the head of Microsoft's Xbox division, heralds an era where players worldwide will relish expanded options to immerse themselves in their beloved gaming experiences. This watershed decision surrounding Call of Duty has become the epicenter of a fierce corporate power struggle between Microsoft's Xbox and Sony's PlayStation, precipitated by Microsoft's audacious plan to acquire the esteemed video game maker Activision Blizzard for a staggering $69 billion. As Microsoft endeavored to sway global regulators into endorsing the colossal merger, it shrewdly forged agreements with Nintendo and several cloud gaming providers to procure licensing rights for Activision titles, including the illustrious Call of Duty franchise, for a generous span of 10 years. In an attempt to foster equitable ground, Microsoft proffered the same proposition to Sony, yet the gaming juggernaut had refrained from committing to the deal, until now. With Microsoft inching ever closer to consummating the buyout, Sony has, at long last, joined forces, embracing this momentous juncture. However, the path to this groundbreaking accord was not without its obstacles. Just last Friday, a U.S. appeals court firmly rebuffed federal regulators' endeavor to impede Microsoft's acquisition, clearing the way for the tech titan to embark on this transformative journey. Microsoft's acquisition of Activision, initiated in January 2022, materialized as an ambitious bid to broaden its video game imprint beyond the Xbox sphere, a realm where it lags behind the venerable industry titan Sony and its esteemed PlayStation device. As the months transpired, Microsoft diligently sought regulatory endorsements both domestically and abroad, yet Sony, ever watchful, raised concerns, fearing potential exclusion from what it perceives as an indispensable gaming masterpiece, a title that, in Sony's eyes, is an absolute must-have. During the legal fracas between Microsoft and the U.S. Federal Trade Commission, Sony executive Jim Ryan took to the stand recounting his initial nonchalance about the impending acquisition following private conversations with Bobby Kotick, CEO of Activision Blizzard, and Phil Spencer of Microsoft. However, as time progressed, Ryan harbored apprehensions that Microsoft would exploit Call of Duty's unparalleled popularity to the detriment of PlayStation enthusiasts, subjecting them to an inferior and degraded experience. Sony has refrained from providing an immediate response to this groundbreaking agreement. However, Microsoft has diligently confirmed that the stipulated accord shall endure for an impressive duration of 10 years, assuaging any lingering doubts about its commitment to fostering a cooperative gaming landscape. Demonstrating unwavering dedication to addressing the concerns of regulators, platform and game developers, and consumers alike, Microsoft's president Brad Smith took to Twitter pledging the tech titan's resolute focus on ensuring that Call of Duty's enthralling universe remains accessible across an even broader spectrum of platforms, catering to an unprecedented multitude of gaming enthusiasts. For Microsoft, the colossal acquisition must be sealed before Tuesday to avert the potentially crippling financial blow of a hefty $3 billion termination fee. Thus, the clock ticks relentlessly as the tech giant races against time to bring this monumental union to fruition, forever reshaping the landscape of the gaming industry and providing players with unparalleled immersive experiences on a global scale. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video please subscribe.